Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now for this video, we are just going to go right to the main topic at hand. If you're really not involved with YouTube politics or Twitter, then you probably won't understand too much of what's going on at first with this video. So, the individual we are talking about today is a YouTuber that goes by Mama Max. And his latest video he just released called Pick a Side YouTube. In his latest video, actually, you know what? Here is a clip of it. 26, 2021. My good friend Max published a video exposing the colossal pedo ring that is IMVU, where he uncovered one particularly inveterate child predator known in-game as Pablo Sunny, a pedophile with an extensive history of grooming multiple teenage girls. And to no one's surprise, YouTube tore it down like none of it ever happened. The fickle thing about it, though, is that the video was cut and censored in accordance with the community guidelines manually reviewed by your staff in order for the family-friendly shell that remained to be available on your platform, even if age-restricted. I myself have personally seen the entire video, and there is not one timestamp you can find that does anything even remotely illicit, especially compared to the categorical obscenities that already plague YouTube. And for what? Because of the bare ass of a virtual character. Is this a joke? Sorry if that clip was a little long, but hopefully if you didn't get what's going on, you sort of have an idea of what's going on now. Mama Max is a YouTuber which focuses on exposing predators on what you would consider kid-friendly websites. Good on him, because honestly, fuck predators, you know? <laughs> now, Mama Max made this new video realistically calling out YouTube for removing one of his older videos and realistically protecting these individuals, predators, because of one very small portion in his older video. He showed an animated butt, so YouTube took the video down because of TOS issues. Now, Mama Max, in response, in his new video, collaborated with like 50 or so other creators, which voiced their concerns with YouTube censorship video strikes slash takedowns, and, well, removing all non-advertisement friendly content. Especially content that shows butts, because that is just, you know, that is, that's not halal. My thoughts overall about Mama Max and his video that he released, and also the video that was taken down, are basically, it's gonna create a good amount of discussion within the YouTube community. I think it'll reach some attention from larger creators. And I also think this video was created because Mama Max was salty about YouTube taking down his video and realistically spoiled his own video in his own way. Now, I'm not hating on Mama Max. Honestly, what he's doing is great. And as a father myself, fuck pedophiles. They can be locked up for life or whatever. I really, what I don't enjoy about his video was mostly the beginning segment and the ending segment. I mean, he had that edgy style opening, which I get, it's his theme. But for a topic about YouTube censorship and accusing them of t protecting predators, you think you could have dropped the whole like jigsaw saw voice thing and the dramatics with your video. It came off as like a little clickbaity, man. As for the ending of the video, shitting on individuals and asking for larger creators help. Bro, you just did a collaboration with like 50 or so other creators. Your video is gonna be seen. I really think due to the ending of this video, you'll end up getting some hate because of it. Also, your whole Twitter spiel going on about children or pedophiles and then tagging a bunch of big internet names. I mean, it's just a bit spammy once again. Some ordinary gamer made a long video going over all of Mama Max's points and things he did well and things well he didn't do well, which everyone should check out. Now, moving on to like the video that got taken down that sparked this whole pick aside YouTube situation. Mama Max's old video was taken down by a TOS bot, which, well, basically because that one part of his video was identified to break terms of service on YouTube. Now, like, if I was Mama Max, I would have just re-edited the video 
without that part. I don't think the situation with YouTube is a case of them defending pedophiles. I think it's a case you should really like look into not showing a virtual ass in your vi video again because unfortunately you got the attention of a bot that was trigger happy. It's YouTube and their TOS sucks. But what can you do, ma'am? I think anyone could have been hit with a takedown if they showed an ass in their video. It just sucks that the topic you were covering was so heavy and a topic that realistically would help people in IRL. But unfortunately, the video broke YouTube's TOS. I don't think someone purposely went out and took that video down to protect pedophiles. I think it was just the virtual ass that got your video taken down. Now, moving on from my spiel, because honestly, like, I just don't think Mama Max understands YouTube's TOS as well as he thought he did. And it just sucks to get a video taken down. I understand the rage about it. However, with his new video, what he did was an amazing thing. He brought together a ton of creators to discuss how shitty YouTube's TOS is, censorship issues, and channel striking. My only issue with this, however, is that not every creator involved knew that Mama Max would be using the tag, Dear YouTube, pick a side, which seemed to cause a level of controversy within the community. It also seems that anyone critical of his video is also being a label or is also being labeled a supporter or defender of pedophilia, which isn't the case. People are just fucking critical of your video. Individuals like Kavos, Tipster, and Doc on the radio have all received hate from offering criticism about Mama Max's video. I mean, hell, like he'll prob like I'll probably get a ton of hate as well because of this take I have of his video, but like, hey, I'm just giving my opinion. But also, overall, his video, regardless of your opinion or like your thoughts on it, has been the best thing for this dude's channel. He has been the talk of the internet, the talk of like fucking Twitter. I like his hashtag was trending. Uh, he went from like 680k subs to over 7k in a day of this video being released. He's made so many eyes, like, look on him. He's appeared on two podcasts, I believe, Half Baked, with uh, Zaptai and Nicholas DiOrio and Vega, and also uh, Argy RFC. So, like, the dude is getting attention. And obviously this is a good thing because he can voice his opinions, probably in a more normal way, <laughs> rather than the whole fucking Batman, grungy, fucking edgy, Thing he wanted to do or whatever he has going on. Overall, I think the main point he made in this video that he created was that it's shitty of YouTube to have taken down Max's video. It's also helped bring together a larger community to discuss questions about YouTube's TOS and guidelines. I think the tagline, children are pedophiles, is dramatic, however, but it's a great way to gain attention, which this whole situation was this clickbaity. There's nothing you can say that'll change my mind. Um, pedophiles are horrible and they deserve the worst. So don't hate me for my opinions. I would highly recommend you to go watch Max's video and have your own opinion. And also watch Some Ordinary Gamers who takes a really neutral approach in this whole situation. Overall though, I don't hate Mama Max in any way. I think his video was a bit clickbaity. I think the people he involved in his video weren't necessarily aware of the points Mama Max was trying to advocate. I think everyone involved in that video was about YouTube TOS, not pedophiles per se. Um, again, pedophiles are bad, so don't like come say it, I'm defending them, because if you do, fuck you. Uh, anyways, comment what you think down below. I will have both of those other videos linked in the description. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more fun. Thanks guys, and I will talk to you later.